Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this session, I wanted to do a quick video uh, just to show a little project I'm working on to try and modify an arcade one-up cabinet with a Sega Saturn. Uh, for those that have been in the modding hobby, in the emulation hobby, you'll know that Saturns are notoriously difficult to emulate properly. Um, and I wanted to do, initially I wanted to do a Sega Rally uh, cabinet. So I got the Sega Rally game, the Saturn, the steering wheel, and I thought, well, there's a lot to do just for a single game. So I then went ahead and got a copy of Virtual Arm and got myself a twin stick, which I was gonna put in a cabinet. Uh, there's a video of a prototype of that on the channel. Um, then I thought, if I'm gonna do a Sega Saturn cabinet, I need more games. So you can find the links for these products in um, the description. I basically went ahead and got an action replay cartridge, which is a four meg expansion round card, so that you can play some of the more advanced games. And then I got myself this little Satiator laser bypass device, which takes an SD card. And this actually just goes, if you can see this here, just goes in the back here, in this little expansion socket. And you see the Satiator 256 gig SD card. Pop that over. Uh, otherwise, we've got the Saturn just running on the little LCD screen. Obviously, that's going to go into the cabinet at some point. Um, it boots up as normal. Well, let's just zoom in a little bit here for you so you can see the game selection better. Um, and there's uh, hundreds of games. Um, haven't gone through and checked, but I was told um, on this SD card is the complete library of all Saturn games ever made. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, one of the games I was really excited to try and see playing on a arcade one-up cabinet in my arcade uh, was actually Die Hard Arcade. Uh, for those that are familiar with that game, you'll know on the uh, Saturn and some other versions in the arcade, it was actually called Dynamite Cop. Um, sorry, on the, uh, on the Dreamcast even I had it as Dynamite Cop on the Dreamcast. Uh, the Die Hard Arcade on the Sega Saturn. Let's take a look at it. follow the movie particularly well in terms of the plot but it's a super fun game all the same. I often wonder why the Saturn wasn't more popular than the PlayStation at the time. It had so many cool kind of niche games on it. I guess it just didn't have the developer community that, um, that the PlayStation had. Anyway, let's, um, let's reset here. Let's check 
out a couple of other games. By the way, if there's a particular game that you remember that you haven't seen for a while, I know Saturn games are so hard to get nowadays and ridiculously expensive if you can find them um, in good condition. Um, so let me know if there's something you want to see, if there's something you want to know if it exists on um, this particular Satiata and uh, SD card combo I've got, just, uh, just let me know. So let's see what else we've got on here. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is pretty cool. I remember Croc was cool, Darius Gaiden, very cool, Daytona's. Um, I never played Dead or Alive on the Saturn. I only ever played that on the Dreamcast. So let's check that out, actually. I don't even remember if this was out on the Saturn. Is this kind of like a remake? Got the Dreamcast version, you can tell by the uh, the video at the start rather than uh, proper graphic. Can't believe I never played this on the Saturn. Very cool. Let's uh, let's check out some other games. We're having to power off each time on this, otherwise it just boots that same game back into the actual replay for cheat codes. So just powering off and then going back um, into the satiator menu, which as you can see is very basic. Let's have a look what else we got on here that I might want to show you. I'm just going to pick out some games that I've either played that are cool um, or that I haven't played before that I want to check out. But it's, like I say, if there's something that you want to see running, just let us know and we'll try and do a quick video. Now, Gun Griffin, I think, was supposed to be very good for the twin stick. Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter. Let's check that out. Again, there's just so many cool games on the Saturn, which ran better arcade games. Just so surprised that it didn't do as well as the PlayStation at the time, or it was even more Capcom and Marvel have joined forces once again to bring you I 
I can't say the blue blues are such easy to do on a control pad than an arcade setup. I'm not going to see Tony Tendo. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. I don't ever remember playing Final Fight on the Saturn either. I mean, I guess growing up in England, they didn't have all these Japanese games, or if they did, it was very hard to get hold of an import. I do remember the NBA Jam, it was very cool. But Night Warriors, Dark Stalkers on there as well, very popular. Panzer Dragoon was a great game. Sega Rally Championship. No Saturn video would be complete without having a go on that. Sega Rally Championship. I don't care what anyone says, this is one of the best driving games of all time. Loved it in the arcade. Um, certainly my favourite game on the Saturn. Alright, let's see what else we got. I'm probably going to do a separate video to show Gun Griffin, um, if that does indeed work with the uh, twin sticks we've got. Let me just check out, um, see if Hang On works if I leave it a little bit. Circuit race course is set up on a small island. The circuit race course is encircled by a large white rampart. The intricate circuit race course runs through a city. Definitely not played this version of Hang On before. <laughs> Maybe a reason I haven't played this version of Hang On before. I think I might prefer the original arcade version, even though the graphics are somewhat more updated. It's lacking something. seen that before, nothing much to write home about. Let's have a look what else 
we've got here. As I said, if there's a particular game that you would like to see, just let me know and we'll pop it on and show you a future video. Sonic 3D Blast is very cool. Street Fighter Alpha and Alpha Zero titles on here. Ooh, Chase Headquarters. I do like Chase Headquarters. I might put that on. Look what else we got. I haven't got time to do too many on this session. I'd like to make these videos too long. This is already risking being too long. Vampire save you there too. The virtual cop games. I may see if I can get a light gun um, to try and uh, play some of these. Um, but I guess I would have to get a CRT, CRT TV to make that work. Okay, well, I did. I saw it. We've got virtual cop there. The House of the Dead is also there as well. Let's see if I can play this with a control pad. So I could get a CRTV and pop that into an arcade one-up with an original Saturn light gun and House of the Dead. I think that would be pretty cool. transition there on the level of detail algorithm. Not. Skip the rest of the intro. I know uh, they used to be super exciting when I was young.
very cool, very cool. Anyway, um, let's just pause that right here. So, just to recap, action replay. I'll put in the link where we got these from and, and how much they cost. Uh, little Satiator device, a 256 gig SD card. Um, and pretty much that's all you need to, to do this mod. Of course, you've got to have original Sega Saturn hardware. Um, like I said, we got the Saturn uh, with a wheel and we got the twin sticks primarily for Sega Rally and uh, Virtual On, which we also do have physical copies here of, by the way. Got a cool original Sega Rally as well as the Virtual On. Um, excellent, excellent games. I just, I can't believe that the Saturn wasn't more popular in its day. I absolutely love it now. Gonna have hella fun uh, checking this out over the next few days. And um, check back soon and we'll uh, be looking to pop this into an arcade one-up cabinet, possibly with a CRT uh, screen at some point. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Happy gaming.